This video will show you how to calculate uh, weighted index numbers. So um, the, you've got three products and it shows you the prices between year one and year two. So straight away what we can do is we can work out what the, uh, the index numbers are. And then it's got a weight system. And what it means by a weight system is, uh, I suppose, the prevalence of it within the inflation. So in terms of certain goods, so if you think about product Z, might be, um, it might be food because it's got the highest weighting because it's consumed on a more regular basis than, for example, product X or product Y. So what we're going to do is we're just going to do one step at a time and calculate the total weighted index. Uh, but to do that, we have to calculate the index numbers for X, Y, and Z. So the first one, I would I would do my uh, new year price, so my year two price minus my original year price, so six minus eight. As we can see, the price has fallen from year one to year two. I remember we're treating year one as the base rate, so we're treating year one as uh, the hundred. So what we do is six minus eight, then divide by the original, which is eight, and that would lead to um, minus 0.25 times it by 100 and you'd get a minus 25 turn it into an index so we'd we'd minus that from the 100 so 100 minus 25 and it would give us an index for 75 now what we do to work out the weight of it we'd simply do 75 times by 1 which would give us 75 so the weighted index of product x would be 75 now what i want you to do is I want you to put, uh, i'm going to pause the video and i want you to pause the video and I want you to carry out the um, finding out what the index is for product Y and product Z. And once you've found out the index, I want you to times the index for product Y by 2. And then uh, obviously the same for Z, but times it by 4. Now remember, from year 1 to year 2 in product Y and product Z, it has increased. So the price level's increased. So it should be higher than 100. So have a go. So you should have got the following. Uh, you should have got 250 for uh, product Y because there should be an index of 125 times that by 2. And then for product Z, you should have got an index of 120 times that by 4 because it's got the highest weighting and you should have got 480. So then what we have to do with that is we have to add the 75, the 250 and the 480. And once we've got that total, then we can divide it by all the weights, which is 4 plus 2 plus 1. So again, have a go at doing that now. So what you should have got is um, 805 in total, divided by the 7, which is the total weight, because 4 plus 2 plus 1 again equals 7, and you should have got a weighted index in year 2 of 115.